Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about how to save money by purchasing your teacher outfits from a thrift store or a resale shop to help you stay on budget. Let's go. Okay, so there is a little bit of strategy that you might wanna have before you go shopping. Some things to think about are what your school dress code is. If it's a new school, you'll want to see what they want you to wear. And if you've been there a while, you probably already know kind of what is expected. So have an idea of what your dress code is and what it is expected of you to wear while you're teaching. Secondly, you might wanna have an idea of how many different outfits you want for each week. Are you going to want to repeat them each week or will you want maybe some options so you don't have to repeat them each week? This will determine how many different pieces of clothing that you're going to want to purchase. Then you're going to want to go through your closet and drawers to see what items you already have that would work for the school year. And after doing this, you can see what items you still might need to purchase. By having an idea of what clothing items you want to look for before you go, it'll help you kind of have a game plan when you get there. Another tip I have is while shopping, you're going to want to look for things that are more neutral colored that could be mixed and matched with different outfits. So go ahead and think through that as you're shopping. Okay, once you're at the store, this can be either a Goodwill, a local thrift store, a local resale shop. There are many different kinds of places you can shop at. Once you're there and you know what items you're looking for, you're gonna go to those sections and start looking through your size. While you're looking through your size, you're going to pull out each item that you think might work. With stores like these, clothes can fit very different. So you're just going to pull out the ones that you like and you think might be a good option and hold on to them till you get to try them on. Once you've gone through all the different sections of the items that you're looking for, you're going to go try on each of the items to see what looks good and what fits right. This will help weed out a lot of those items because as you're shopping through a thrift store or resale shop, it's very easy to pull a lot of items. But from my experience, once you try them on, you have a lot smaller pile of clothes that you feel like work for you. Once you've kind of sorted out those ones that might work and those that definitely won't, if you don't wanna purchase them all, you can go through and look for ones that are more neutral colored that could be mixed and matched to make multiple outfits so that you can use the same piece of clothing for different days. This will help narrow down your choices even more. Keep an eye out for any sales that the thrift stores or resale shops will have because they a lot of times will have extra sales on top of what they are already selling the clothes at. And so this is a great opportunity to grab even more items to add to your wardrobe. And lastly, remember that you will most likely have to visit more than one store or even wait a week or two and go back to the same store to see if they have more items in stock. It may take a little bit more time and effort to get all the items that you're looking for. If this video is helpful to you, don't forget to give this video a like. And if you want some ideas on art and activity for preschoolers or other things teacher related, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in our next video.